Hi, and welcome to Family at Five. Today is International Tongue Twister Day. So we're gonna have some fun with some tongue twisters and also share why it's important as a family to play with language. Welcome to Family at Five, where we provide literacy tips in five minutes or less for you to use in your everyday routine. Hey Lisa, I have a question. If two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? Whoa, slow it down, Tara. That's really hard when you speak that fast. But if you want to teach a new tongue twister or any tongue twister, start with the words slowly, maybe one at a time. Like this, try she sees cheese. 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 <laughs> she sees cheese. <laughs> tongue twisters are a fun way to learn new vocabulary, build the word bank. Uh, it, it might be too difficult just repeating it back and forth, but try writing it down, especially for longer ones. Write it down, short ones, long ones, and follow along reading. Try this one. Truly rural. Truly really? Truly really? I don't get it. Do you want some help? Yes. Here we go. Try reading along. Oh, truly rural. Truly rural. And remember, it's important to practice. Try this one, Lisa. A skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stumps. Stunk, but the stumps thunk the skunk stump. <laughs> okay, I can't do that one without reading along. I'm going to give it a try. A skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stumps. Stunk, but the stump thunk the skunk. Stunk. I need practice. Yeah, practice helps. Um, so you can try saying some of these fun tongue twisters or make up your own. Most importantly, have fun with it. Bye!